In this video, I covered the three things that you should do ASAP when your vehicle has been impounded because you've been charged with drunk driving, DUI, over 80, impaired driving, or a refusal to take a breathalyzer test. Before I start, you should check out some great videos on how to get out of a DUI first offense. These videos are short and pack a lot of value. I've included links in the description of this video. Let's get started. So when your vehicle has been impounded because of an alcohol or drug related criminal charge, there are three things you should do ASAP. First, confirm the location where your vehicle is impounded. Now this seems obvious, but it's not. Here's why. Many tow truck companies have multiple impound yards. So while you may know which tow company holds your vehicle, you may not know which tow yard your vehicle is being held. If you are not sure, call the tow company to confirm the impound location. If you don't know which tow company has your vehicle, then call the non-emergency phone number of the police division that charged you. Explain your situation and they will be able to help you identify the tow company and impound location. Second, confirm how much you will have to pay. When you pick up your vehicle at the end of the impound period, you will have to pay the tow company to get your vehicle released. Generally, there are two fees you'll have to pay. First is the tow fee. This is a fee you pay to tow your vehicle from the place where the police stopped you to the tow company's impound yard. And the second is the storage fee. Uh, this is the fee that the tow company will charge you to hold your vehicle. Uh, this fee is a daily rate. Finally, uh, sometimes the tow companies will charge you an extra kilometer fee. This fee is charged when the tow yard is very far from the place where the police stopped you. You want to get clarity on the total amount you owe so there are no misunderstandings when you pick up your vehicle from the impound. And third, you should confirm the release date. This is important. Generally with an impaired driving, a DUI or refusal charge, your vehicle will be subject to a minimum seven day impoundment. In some cases, it may be longer. You should contact the tow company and confirm your vehicle's exact release date and time. We've seen many examples where a tow company is confused about the release date and you will and they'll want to hold your vehicle longer than they're legally supposed to. Uh, if there is confusion about the release date, you should call the non-emergency phone number of the police division that charged you. The police will contact the tow company and correct the release date and time. When you can get your vehicle, remember that your license will be under suspension, so you can't drive to the impound lot. Make arrangements for someone to take you to get your vehicle. Finally, if you've been charged with drunk driving, DUI, impaired driving, or refusal to take a breathalyzer, your legal strategy can make the difference between winning and losing. Reach out, let's have a confidential discussion about your case. The call is free and you can book a time by clicking on the link in the description below.